welcome. So this is going to be a uh, review, I guess, of these glow-in-the-dark celestial playing cards from Oliver Smith and Company. I'm not exactly sure where I picked this up, I can't remember. Um, typically it would be someplace like Half Price Books. But uh, maybe, no, it wasn't. I picked up a couple of graphic novels there. Still don't know where I got these. But I like cards, and I like things that glow in the dark. So let's check these out. I forgot to mention um, the weekend, the Friday and the weekend after uh, Thanksgiving, there's going to be a convention in San Francisco where WonderCon used to be at the Moscone Center. I think it's called uh, FanFest. Sounds like I'll be going there. Um, don't really go to San Francisco much. Might travel out there on uh, Monday nights to go to a club. Don't really go there during the day because not only is the city a cesspool, but um, it's just congested as all hell. It's not fun going there. But it's at, uh, so this fan fest is at Moscone Center, and I believe there's a bot station nearby that I could just uh, bot out there to get it. All right, so these have uh, the raised areas here of the green to show you that it goes in the dark. And uh, right here looks like the Joker area. It's the part that glows in the dark. Nice. So let's just look at the face cards, yeah? Here we go. Now, uh, I got a pair of frames online for glasses, and it came with a blue laser. And that thing, uh, you can draw, if you uh, hit something that's glowing like this, you can kind of draw on it. And um, if it's a, it's a big, really big area, the laser will make a trail of glowing stuff. But it activates it really quick. There we go. That's the jack, the queen, and the king. Oh, so I'm going to go pick up Pokemon tonight. Yeah, I know, I'm a geek. I'm going to get Scarlet, and my nephew's going to get Violet. And the final three. So I am kind of noticing something. Let me take a closer look. Huh. Alright, so I've, uh, in the past, I've gotten cards, uh, usually Tarot, maybe once in a while, a um, deck of playing cards. And you will see uh, areas, pieces, on the side of the cards uh, where the perf perforation was torn. Not necessarily cut, but, you know, just kind of like pulled apart. And as you can see in these corners here, it just looks a little, uh, I don't know, not rounded, like it was cut or something, I don't know. But I do look forward to seeing how these uh, look in the dark after they've been glowing. I imagine shuffling them might be a little bit difficult because you have these raised areas back here. Um, almost looks like the paint's kind of flaking off too. Either way, these will look nice with my uh, other cards. I do have um, a set of plastic cards that are clear that also glow. Hey. How's it going? Good. I got Maddie's message that you're going at six. Yeah. That was our nephew. He's going to be going to going with us to pick up Pokemon. So I better wrap up this review.
This has been the glow in the dark celestial playing cards from Oliver Smith and Company. Thank you. Stay healthy. Always be kind.